views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. Good evening and welcome to Bronx Talk. On Friday, April 20, City Island will host VIA Community Day, an annual effort by Viacom employees across the world who go into communities to make a positive impact through education, health and wellness, environment, and citizenship. And for the first time ever on April 20, VIA Community Day will be coming to the Bronx and the Viacom employees will work side by side with City Island volunteers to plant, to paint, to clean, and restore some of the abandoned properties in downtown City Island in an effort to reclaim and celebrate for all time the incredible nautical history of this wonderful, unique part of the Bronx. And so tonight we have with us a couple of City Island residents who are on the committee that are putting all of this together including a renowned photographer who's going to show us some of his incredible work. It's going to be a fun and informative program. We'll also tune everyone into the uh, City Island community and via Community Day and explain how you, too, can be part of this one-of-a-kind Bronx event. Please join me in welcoming the chair of the via Community Day City Island Committee and also a member of Community Board 10 and the director of the Tourism uh, uh, of tourism for the City Island Chamber of Commerce. She also has a wonderful restaurant on City <laughs> Island. We'll give you a free plug. Maria Caruso, nice to have you with Thank us. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. And also uh, the proprietor of the Focal Point Gallery on City Island. If you haven't been there, where have you been? Uh, photographer extraordinaire, Ron Turner, nice to have you with us, Ron. Thank you for having me. Uh, Maria, let's start with you. This is really exciting. And you know that when I heard about it, I said this is a really big thing. City Island, one of the most wonderful places in, in the Bronx or in the world, is getting a, a facelift. Tell us all about exactly. it. Exactly, and it's uh, one of those unique places that really flies way under the radar. So by having Via Community Day come to us, I think it's going to expose the world to our little charming nautical community. And uh, the volunteers are very excited. The, the uh, Viacom volunteers are excited to come. And the locals are getting into it as well. Uh, talk about why uh, this community that I talk about affectionately, you both live there. Um, why, why do you need to have this kind of refurbishment uh, on, on downtown City Island? Well, some of the, um, in the economic downturn of in 2008, uh, some of the businesses, some of the storefronts went out of business and never reopened. So this is sort of giving a facelift to the downtown section where we're going to be putting up some pictures of the nautical history of the island, explaining wh what was there years ago, um, what shipyards were there, what boats were built, and the significance of this nautical community uh, to the Bronx and to all of New York City. So uh, those of us who live in the Bronx and maybe elsewhere know that we have wonderful restaurants in City Island. It's a wonderful place to come in the summertime. You take a little stroll. You see some of the quaint shops. Um, but there is a legacy and a history that is is missed. Just talk briefly about it. And also, I know that the um, uh, the Nautical Museum is taking a large role in this. Um, why don't we put all that together? We're going to show some amazing photographs in a moment. Don't go away. The Historical Society slash the Nautical Museum, they're the nucleus of the project, and it's, it's named City Island, the Nautical Mile Isle. And, um, Wait, what is named that? The, the, the project is named oh, that I, with Viacom, I wasn't aware of the that. Nautical Mile the Isle. Nautical Mile Isle, right. okay. And um, it's just, uh, we are unique, and we are known for our restaurants, me being a restaurant. Yes, and what is the name of the restaurant? It's Bistro SK. It's Bistro SK. The only French restaurant in the Bronx, but City Island is mostly known for the seafood, steakhouses, and that's what it's known for. 
we want to be known for more than that because we do have a very rich nautical history. There were many, many boats that were built uh, on City Island that were used in World War II. There was um, a lot of the shipyards when the boat building business in the 20s and the 30s and the 40s was really, really active. And uh, those, as they're going into condos or being replaced by other things, it's important to keep the history alive because we want the next generation to know about these places, that, that, that this existed. And it's really like, you know, we talk about the history of the Bronx and, and people go on historical tours and you say, well, this used to be here, or, you know, now we'll be able to say there once was Yankee Stadium here, or all, all these wonderful things about history. There's no reason why City Island can't uh, claim its history. We want, we want the people that are coming for dinner on the restaurants either come a little bit earlier, take a little visit to the Nautical Museum, learn about the history, or after dinner, stroll around downtown and now you can be able to see beautiful pictures and you'll be able to learn a little bit about what City Island was you know all about back then. I love to ask questions that can't be answered so Ron Turner the question for you is what does City Island mean to you? <laughs> <laughs> um, but you've been there for, for decades. Well for 44 years. Okay uh, and, and I, what, why is it a special place and what makes it special for you? Well, it became my home um, in 1974, I had a dream of uh, opening up a gallery and exhibiting my work and then later on other people's work. And it was a community that accepted me and uh, was, I was able to make my dream come true uh, on City Island. And I think primarily because of the location, it's a beautiful place to be, and the people. The people are amazing. The, uh, when I came, I think there was around 2,000 people now there's, it's doubled to almost 4,000, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and I can say almost all of them are like family. And that's very special to me. Uh, and talk of, for folks who don't know, um, uh, Ron is uh, at the Focal Point Gallery. Talk about the Focal Point Gallery and its relation to the island as a whole and what, what it's meant. And, and it's been there for also for many, many years. Uh, right? It's uh, when I came in 74. Wow. Uh, so that's going on 44 years. So this is part of the history of City Island as well, of course. Yeah. Yeah, what um, I started to do was to photograph the people and the location, uh, the streets, the buildings, the shipyards, uh, mostly the people, uh, the kids playing in the... Uh, the first vacant uh, uh, shipyard was Nevins. Uh, we have a picture of that, by the way, which we're going to show. Which became, um, you know, uh, the favorite playground. And what's going to happen, which I think is part of Viacom Day, is uh, in the museum, the Nautical Museum, there'll be old pictures and the pictures that I took to match the old pictures. So it was like before and after. And... Now being there 44 years, I've seen I have to update some of my pictures because I've become, um, you know, the before. And I have to do some <laughs> after do now, some too, after. because um, of the years. And, and why is Via Community Day important to you, and why do you think it's important to the island? Well, I, I, I like what Maria did say, uh, to uh, remind people that City Island has this amazing nautical uh, history. Fortunately for me, I came to City Island when almost all the boatyards were still uh, open and people were going to work. And then I began to see the change of uh, how City Island's uh, uh, face uh, uh, started to change because of the boatyards going under, the boat industry, boat building industry changed. Um, and I think the new people who are coming to City Island they don't appreciate, don't that. realize yeah. what once was there. Right. And this is to you know to, to show people. So it's not only for those of us who come for dinner and you know come for a beautiful summer night on City Island. It's also for for residents to appreciate uh, where they're at. Um, I want to show some of these pictures, but so how is Via Community Day going to go? Like wh what's going to happen? It's April twentieth. It's a big day in the Bronx. A, even a bigger day on City Island, but what's going to happen? So Via, Viacom is going to have a bus from their offices in Manhattan, mm -hmm. and they're going to bring uh, approximately 30-plus uh, volunteers to City Island. They will arrive by 9 o'clock in the morning, 
and we're going to welcome them at the Nautical Museum. We're going to have some coffee and donuts and, and welcome them, give them a little orientation of the museum, show them around, give them a little bit of a preliminary history of the, the nautical history there. And then uh, people will be in teams, and different team leaders will take them off to various projects that we have already set up on the island. And There's about eight or nine projects that are go they're going to be uh, dispersed to, and then they're going to do various things throughout the day. I'm, I'm going to show them really quickly, very quickly. I don't know if we can get, and, and I don't want to spend a lot of time on it because these are kind of, these are literally the before, the before yes. pictures that uh, Ron was talking about. So this is at, at 200, I, I, I'm surprising my director here. This is at 200 uh, City Island Avenue. And uh, this is just a... And it's a, just a plain yeah, fence. This is, right, it's, it's a plain fence and then ultimately it will be adorned with uh, photographs or other things. Um. Blown up photographs of uh, right. historical boats. All right. That were built and then, and then uh, if you go to the um, school at PS 175, there are some boats hanging on the side. Those will all be refurbished. And there uh, will also be a mural that's going to be painted uh, at the PS 175 in the schoolyard. Again, all scenes from boatyards, uh, nautical history is going to be on the on the. To remind mural. people that City Island was once uh, like this, and now people, of course, know it for the things that we all know it for because we go to Bistro SK for dinner. I'm, I'm helping, right? We're doing the <laughs> yes, best we can. Uh, let's, let's take a look at some of these historical photos, and I want to make sure that I uh, present them properly. Our friends at the Nautical Museum will be very mad at me. So let's um, take a look at pictures. I think we're going to see them up here. Okay, so this first one um, is, is a minesweeper. Uh, right. Designed and built on City Island. Think of that. It, this boat was built on City Island, um, and and it was actually built in uh, the lot uh, that uh, that that fence uh, that I showed exactly. uh, it, it will be attached. Um, kind of, and that way, again, people will say, "Wow, it's not just an empty lot. We now have something going." That on photo there. will be on the on the fence, and there will also be an explanation as to when it was built, what it is, and all of that. This is uh, the aforementioned Nevin's uh, shipyard. Okay, that was uh, that 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 shipyard built by many famous yachts and military vessels. It closed in 1962, and PS 175 was built in that spot. That's right. That's like unbelievable. I mean. I I don't know how many times I've gone back and forth on the island and even walked past PS 175. And, and it's amazing to know that was what was there, uh, building ships. What else we got? Oh, that is um, that is one of the boats that was launched. Is in that the sloop? That's the Sea Love. The I, Sea Love? I, I believe. Okay, being launched yeah, at, sea the, right. at the Robert Jacobs shipyard on City Island in 1924. Yes, it says Robert Jacobs in the mm -hmm. top right part of that uh, photograph. Again, that is City Island. Not quite as many people think of it today. but uh, And that's another one that'll be put up, a picture that'll be put up somewhere. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. It is amazing, amazing stuff. And then uh, the last one, I think we have one more. Oh, yes, this was Courageous, a 12-meter sloop designed and built on City Island, won the America's Cup in 1977, owned by Ted Turner. Uh, and uh, one member of the crew was a City Islander, uh, Dick Sadler. And so, again, that is an incredibly famous boat. Historic. H historic boat <laughs> that won the America's Cup in 1977, owned by Ted Turner, built on City Island. Right. There we go. We're giving it a yeah. round of applause. <laughs> and people will be able to learn more and see more over time and hopefully uh, encourage people after they have dinner to take a little walk, to learn a little bit, talk to their kids. I mean, that's uh, all part of um, uh, what this is about. Um, in order for people to participate, what do they have to do? Um, well, the Viacom volunteers are already signed up. Um, and if any locals or anyone wants to volunteer... And you don't have to be from City Island, No, right? you don't have to be from City Island. You could be from anywhere, right. anywhere in the world. Come and well, volunteer Bronx, that day. We hope. <laughs> well, okay. yeah. And uh, you can contact me via email or, or m my cell phone. Right. We're going to put some of that yeah. uh, up on the screen for you. And we'll find something for you to do. Um, Ron, uh, I wanted to take a moment, and that's uh, Friday, April 20. That's, right, and uh, it starts at uh, 9 in the morning. 
goes till about four in the afternoon. But many of the businesses are going to be excited about the day, so there's going to be a lot going on mm -hmm. in the nighttime too. So no reason to leave the island at four o'clock. That's you right. Stay. You can stick around and. I've heard there are wonderful places to eat over there, <laughs> so you can stick around. Uh, Ron, let's talk a little bit about uh, Focal Point Gallery and, and one of the reasons to include it in this dialogue, because this idea of community is really what Focal Point Gallery has been. It's not only that you show your stuff. Yes. Um, talk first about uh, you recently had, uh, I guess it's an artist's uh, pick them, so to speak, that artists can display. And then we're going to talk about something real exciting, and that is kids. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that. Uh, what I'm doing now, which is uh, have the artists choose what work they want to uh, exhibit. So any artist? Bronx any artist? I don't turn anyone away. Wow. Uh, it's, uh, it's called Artist Choice. Artist Choice. And that's, that's what, what I've been doing now for the last five years. Mm -hmm. I don't want to curate a show anymore. I don't want to decide whether the work is good or bad. And besides, I don't think there's such a thing as bad work. It's just a matter a of taste. A true artist. And no i rather uh, have the artist decide what they would like to show. And that's what I would put up. But how many uh, entries do you get when you put them up? Uh, it varies from month to month because I do this uh, every month. And the shows stay up for a month. Um, I can get anywhere from 30 to 50 to 60 pieces. Wow. And uh, an artist can put in more than one piece if they want to, uh, somehow I uh, make room for the artwork. And if I don't get enough work in, then I dig out my work. And uh, the we're going to show some of Ron's uh, work <laughs> as well. Um, and, and do you find you're getting the same people all the time? or you get uh, Some artists uh, I see... Are consistent? All, yeah, they say this is a great opportunity. Right. And they have become regulars. And it also encourages them to produce. So they always think, okay, what am I going to have for next month? And they always come in with new because work they, that they're doing. They say, gee, as opposed to an artist working on their own in their, uh, you know, in their little gallery space or whatever, in their um, workshops or whatever they do, uh, they know that there's an end to it. They can show. Uh, do you get people from City Island or people from everywhere? I get people from everywhere. The one requirement is... Uh, in the sense of being local, you have to bring in the work, and you have to, when the show comes down... You got to pick it up. You have to pick it up. So <laughs> right. you have to what somehow... What are we going to do with all this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there are a lot of artists that live on City Island, and I get a fair amount of those artists. And then I get new people all the time from the Bronx and from other areas, as long as they can bring me the work. What a tremendous um, uh, approach to artwork. Tremendous approach to community. Now I want to drum roll because this is exciting. You you do it for young people as well. Yes, kids. once. Now um, we're going to show some pictures of previous ones. Talk to me about the children's show. Uh, once a year I put uh, aside the month of April uh, strictly for young artists' artwork. Uh, many years ago um, when my son was, uh, you know, maybe seven years old, uh, the uh, art program was canceled in his school. And I was very unhappy about that, so I created the Young Artist Exhibition. And, and you can see from here, look how proud the kids yeah. are. Yeah. And what, they should be, of what, course. What you'll see is a lot of happy faces. And if you look at the artwork, the, the artwork is exceptional. It's the only show also where the work is not for sale, and it's not a competition. Everyone's a winner. Mm. I don't want wow, anyone to this. walk away I, I and not feel good this. about this great. their work. These, these are Bronx kids, and this is all their work? Yep, this is, uh, this. Uh, I think in, this was last year's show, and the, oh, that's the teacher, that's uh, Tiffany McKnight. And, and where, uh, she helps from organize a particular the school? Or? Uh, that school uh, is in Washington Heights, mm -hmm. well, close to the Bronx. That's fine. <laughs> You had told me, if I remember correctly, that there was one teacher or somebody who, who said, wow, this is, just well, recount Tiffany, that story. Tiffany, Tiffany is the McKnight one? is yeah. the teacher who lived on City Island and uh, remembered that she had her work when she was a kid wow. exhibited in the gallery when I was doing those shows a long time ago. Uh, the kids' show is going on now for about 30 years. Um, and she got in touch with me and so said she, that she's a teacher now, teaching art. So she, oh, wow. was, she was shown there, knew the value of it, and now as a teacher 
is bringing her kids in. So, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm applauding. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so um, uh, what do people have to do to enter for young people? I mean, we want to encourage our young people. Uh, like crazy. All they have to do is bring in the artwork before the uh, 14th so I can frame it and okay. uh, then have time uh, to and, exhibit and it. Folks can just look up the Focal Point Gallery if they have questions. I mean, they're just great people. Definitely to give me a call. They give you a call, Focal Point Gallery. Um, and the opening is on uh, April 14th. Yes, uh, it's, which is a Saturday. Okay. And it's uh, from 1 to 3. There'll be refreshments. Right. And uh, um, uh, already I have 100 pieces. Wow. Now, do you get scared because you say, my goodness, how are we going to... Uh, I, get, we gonna I get scared. Scared of <laughs> But that's the good scared. Somehow I manage. All right. Um, we're, we're moving from one to the other. Now let's talk about uh, Ron Turner as a photographer. And I, and I will tell you that Ron came in and we had talked about showing some of his work. And all he wanted to do was talk about the kids. But I insisted, because Ron is a wonderful photographer and we always love to show off good, good work. Tell me a little bit. Uh, I don't know. We're just going to show pictures. Let's, uh, they'll put stuff up. And uh, let's see what we got. Um, how long have you been taking pictures? Oh, let's see. Um, for about 56 years. Wow. Okay, this, uh, that's a, uh, one of the first people I met on City Island. Uh, his name is Lifeboat Louie. And I photographed Lifeboat Louie in 1974. And this is a current picture of him. Wow. And uh, he's a colorful character and almost... Every city islander knows him because he will walk around either with an oar or a life jacket. I know everybody in the Bronx knows him. Lifeboat, and when I Lifeboat see him, I'll know. All right, what's next? What do we got? Okay, that's... Uh, uh, I, uh, the reason I picked out this picture is that he was... He's no longer with us. He passed away. Uh, that's Bryce Kirk, and he was a dock builder. So I, I photographed a lot of the city islanders... Uh, and uh, he was an important person on City Island because he did uh, build docks, and uh, he's so it part fits of the right history. into the, the dialogue of via right. Community Day and everything else. Uh, the photograph is just an amazing photograph. It is. Ron. It, is it is just amazing. It almost looks like the and, and is that and, the and that's same? Captain Eddie uh, again, one of the first people I met. Uh, I guess I must have been an oddity when I opened up my gallery uh, and photo studio. Uh, so I had the old timers come in and check me out. And they all had fantastic stories to tell, which I listened to and I learned a lot about the nautical history of City Island and took pictures of them. Wow. Uh, you, uh, let's get the next one up there. You like uh, portraits. You like taking Oh, that's portraits. a big part of my work. Now, this is what uh, has happened uh, after being on City Island for about 40 years, I thought about all the people I photographed and who had passed away. Wow. Uh, and I realized I had this album of, of City Islanders um, that I wanted to remember. So I picked, that's where Nevins uh, used to be. The boatyard. The boatyard. And I figured that it would be a fitting place to transfer the images onto the rocks there. And that's and what you I actually did. did that. Yeah. Wow. So that's a and that's my dog of course. <laughs> uh, she goes wherever I go. And those are two city islanders who I photographed, who lived and who happened to pass away. Do we have one more photo? Because we only have a couple of minutes. Now what right. happened was um, since that would get all the noise because we want to wrap this it up. This is a wall when you come on to City Island um, you'll hit this wall. Uh, I transferred the images now onto this wood fence. I got permission of Haim Joseph. And there's now over 100 images of people who I photographed that lived on City Island and passed away. And it's a, the memorial wall. Uh, this uh, gives us, to me, a, a picture of part of the history of City Island, part of the nautical history, and what makes City Island so unusual, so different, so distinct in the Borough of the Bronx. So, Maria, wrap it up here now. We're, we're via Community Day, April 20th. If you want to participate, you want to be part of it. Contact me. Okay. And, and we're going to put that info on the screen. I guess we're going to do that. Just to, uh, just to close it out, just to say that via Community Day is going to be the kickoff of what we want the, the rest, uh, the future to be. We want to keep 
advising people, having them, sh we share the information about the nautical history, having them learn all about us, having to, we want to revitalize the this unique waterfront community, and maybe in the future have some kind of a facility, a barge, to have the old timers be on there, tell stories, because there still are a lot of amazing old timers on the island that have a lot of stories to tell. This is what we want. This is a kickoff, and this is what we want the future to so be. So the idea is that this is not like uh, you talked about at 4 o'clock, then you can go Not a one-day deal. <coughs> it's not a one-day deal. How, do you get the sense that Viacom will uh, make their commitment more than the one day, or do you think... Uh, they have committed to come back year after year, and the volunteers come back to the projects that they've enjoyed working on. Wow. But we have a lot of... Uh, we're getting a lot of local uh, volunteers and a lot of local enthusiasm to continue this revitalization of the nautical existence of City Island t for the for the local community. And, and then there is hope that it will be part of the effort that revitalizes the downtown a little Absolutely. bit, brings more tourists in. And the other thing I'm going to say, I'd like more people to go to the Focal Point Gallery because then they could see some of the great work uh, that Ron does. Okay, thank you so much for joining thank us, you. Ron Turner. It's a pleasure. Uh, Maria Caruso, and uh, let's uh, not forget to go visit Bistro SK. Thank you. And have a nice meal. And the Nautical Museum. And the, Nautical and Museum. the Focal Point Gallery. And the Focal Point Gallery. Listen, the starving artists. <laughs> Cafe and all oh, the other a lot wonderful to, uh, places. Yeah, there. Yes. Um, but it's always a pleasure to visit with you folks, and I'm thrilled that you're here. I'm going to be there on uh, April 20th, and uh, a lot of people I hope will, will join you for, for that. Thank you so much for joining us Thank tonight. You. If you have further questions or comments on anything you heard on tonight's show or anything going on in the Bronx, then send us an email at Bronx Talk at Bronxnet. Dot org. You can send us a tweet at Bronx Talk, or you post your comments on our Facebook page, and we'll read them on the air during a future edition of our program. You can check out our archives at bronxnet.org. you find Bronx Talk by following the watch menu on the new BronxNet website. Next week, we get into politics. We'll have the debate in the special election for the 32nd Senatorial District, and then on the 16th, it will be the debate for the 80th Assembly District. We thank our buddies on City Island. We thank our producer, Helen Greenberg, our director, William Guzman, and we will see you next week. Good night.